Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new one and done. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Tavern Master. I've had a blast with this game so far. I think I got about nine and a half, almost ten hours now uh, into the game. Got it through the Steam Winter Sale for only like, uh, I think it was less than ten dollars. A great game so far. I'm having a blast with it. Let's just jump right into it. I want to show you a little bit of starting the game and then go into my latest save file and see what I'm up to at this point. Uh, so let's go into new game. Uh, current progress will be lost if you haven't saved. Yes, we have saved. And I highly re recommend getting your bearings straight with the game, playing through a little bit this way before going into sandbox um, and just having way too much fun on it. Uh, so you have relax, normal, and hard right now on my main file. I'm going through normal. Uh, but for the sake of this video, let's we'll just do it really easy and do relaxed. Relax basically is saying that you're not going to have as many uh, problems. Like you, you can have fire to start out, or um, or theft. So that stuff like that gets more and more tedious, harder difficulty. Uh, welcome to your tavern. You will be in charge of managing and growing your business. Oh, okay. So we're going to take a look. I am using this on obviously it's on PC, so I'm using uh, WASD to look around I got the mouse this is a right click dragging with the wheel whoops now I'm dragging with the wheel and it won't let me scroll in or out Tavern doesn't look like a tavern at all one wall is missing there are no doors and no windows let's fix that I think we should too so click on hammer hammer is the building icon uh, you go from building walls, you got upper walls, lower walls, floor textures, and uh, special walls. So we'll go to building the rest of this wall. You just click and drag. You want to put a door and a window. Simple. Now, uh, we only have one table in the tavern right now. That's That won't be enough, uh, so let's buy one more by clicking on the dining room button below the dining button so uh, the dining button is where you're gonna get all your furniture based items um, tables seats decorations uh, to put around the place like hanging plants um, um, uh, swords and shields to hang on the wall stuff like that you have your lights then you have uh, special stuff to put down uh, which we'll dive into in a little bit uh, you have your kitchen related stuff which we won't get to now but we'll be able to unlock down the road uh, as well as games and garden, which are both things that you unlock later on. Um, so we need a table. Now, where it says four out of four, and that number is dropping rapidly, uh, what that means is how many people are going to be able to sit at that spot. So this table takes, it's a six by four, um, and it can, it can table four people. So let's put it down. Oh, gotta put it where it says so, apparently. I usually put mine a little closer just to conserve space. We need seats. Let's put the seats down right next to it. And now it goes to four out of four. Wish I can turn this around. Uh, we can see that one of the benches is not inside any light range. Let's build a candle light to fix that. Go into light. And real quick before we go any further, the gold is how much they cost. This button right here goes to your prestige more prestige you have the more events you can have done um, it, it's just basically making growing your tavern and making your prestige higher and higher making your facility better and this is, certain items have certain uh, prestige attached to them so when we put down here we'll get 50 more prestige I went from 140 to 190 uh, now we have enough seats for the guests next step will be to buy beer to serve By the beer, we should go to the bar first. Click on the bar to open the menu. So right now we have water. If you click on this button right here, you can add all of these as you unlock them. Right now, the only one we have is beer. So you click on beer. You can refill at one. Sorry, had to on. <laughs> refill one, 10, or max. So we have the money right now, we could do max refill. 
Great job. We now have a place uh, for people to sit. We have drinks to serve. Final thing missing is to hire staff. So let's open the staff pop up, which is this icon right here. Go to hire. Bartender. Every day you'll get new candidates for hiring. Pick one of these four by clicking the hire button. Um, I, I tend to kind of go with what what traits I'm looking for and then I use that and compare it with their stats right so um, he can carry eight drinks at a time that's handy carry eight drinks at a time eight drinks at a time can gain experience two times faster but once this these to me just seem like they're ongoing whereas this one it's like once he fills out all of his stats over time does this really matter so I don't know uh, right now, four, four drinks, five drinks. He can carry eight, though. Um, salary five. Drinks, pouring, he is really bad at. Speed carrying, speed not carrying things, he's really fast. I, uh, I almost think that well, Gail, Leopold... Jack and I don't is that Eddie? Edwi? Ed Eddie? Edwi? Um he might be the best one. Just for the fact that he's a little bit more well rounded. I mean and he's only down one compared to him otherwise, so I think we're gonna go with him. We we'll go to hire. Now we need a waitress. Uh I, I do the same exact thing for them. For him for the bartender it really didn't pay to you could have gone either way with those the the experience is going to stop at one point or another does he need to carry those drinks that's not as needed as it is for say the the waitresses who are actually going to be doing the carrying of the drinks um carry six drinks five four five attracts three and a half more customers every day um and carry eight drinks at a time gets one tip for every drink served salary five 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 I do like this one more the more people you attract to the bar more money your bar makes I'm a big fan of that one so I think she's a little bit more well-rounded as well we do need to work on her speed though so we'll go and hire her we prepared everything needed for the guests to start coming in before we unpause the time. Let's see how we can unlock new stuff in the tavern. Click the research button. So, the buttons they have right now, this is the hire button, or to see your staff. Uh, this is the research button, which I'm going to click on to see the, 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 the long branch of stuff that you can unlock as you play the game. And then you have this one, which is a quest thing that you earn points by completing certain quests as you're playing the game. So we'll click on research. Upgrades are researched by serving different types of guests, and you can see the cost of research on the left side of it. So we're like, we're at this one, it takes 25 common guests to be able to get the kitchen. Uh, 20, 15, 40, it just goes up and up until you get like, say, the rare ones. And this is a long, extensive, process it's not i mean i'm nine hours in and i'm about here yeah i'm about there so and i'll show you that in a little bit our only option right now is to research the kitchen is to click on the research button to start there we go all right so as the day progresses now the research is going to steadily grow with the more guests that we take in. Uh, number of guests per day tells you how many people will come to your tavern on average every day. Buy decorations and upgrade your tavern to increase that number, which is this number right here. And it will be affected by weather. So clear sky plus 10% guests per day. If it's raining out, that will actually decrease your people. Go to next. So we'll go at a regular pace for now so you guys can see how this works my final tip to you is that you uh, watch out if there is enough space to sit if all the seats are taken buy more tables and benches good luck all right so let's take a little gander right now we are filling up 
pretty steadily. Um, you know what? Let's buy another table. See, the way I usually do this. And that's what, four? I like to go, when I'm putting the, the places next to each other, I like to keep like a half a space in between, and that's totally fine. I haven't had any problems with that. Now what about these quests? So we own eight benches, finish any research, own four tables, change the, the name on the outside, and as you do that, you will gain um, these points. The more points you have, the more things you can unlock. So you get stuff for free, you get more recipes, you can even get hires that are really, really, really good. They're top, top hires. They're fully maxed out stats, it's awesome. But even this list has a ton of things to go off of. I don't even think I'm halfway done with this. There's just so many. Oof, the... Okay, let us speed this up a little. Because right now it's 3 p.m. It goes until midnight. Very relaxing music, too. I want to see how much money we get after this first day and maybe add that fourth table. Going pretty good right now. It's six, six p.m. Now you can start a day off in the negative too. Um, like there have been times where, obviously, I know I'm gonna make money that day, so I kind of whittle down my money, making maybe not so important life decisions <laughs> with stuff that I buy, and I'll be able to make up that money. Up oh, here we go. So when this lights up like this, what this means is this person is ready to level up. So if we click on Shay. Go to level up, and this game continues to play outside of this. 10, 11, yep. So if we go to click on this, we leveled up. Now we have one point to spend. Now what we should work on is the speed while mm, carrying. Yes. All right, so we had a day of spending a lot of money negative 1012 for debt and that comes with purchases buildings and refills uh total negative 1140 total positive 120 or 128 so we made money back but not nearly as much as we spent that's fine you're gonna happen all the time uh, so let us go into beer looks good water is infinite i found out so you don't ever need to refill water what i would like to do though this is 70 let's keep it in line with that. There. Now we can go here, click on own four tables, and own eight benches. I got us some points. So far, not too bad. Oh, we can. Let's call this. Um, what do we want to call it? call it King's Tavern. That was also a thing too. So we change the tavern name, we get two. These will actually gradually go up higher. Right now, I think I'm at like fours and sixes uh, for some of mine. So they do get higher. And that ends day one. We'll do one more day and then we'll switch over to my current game file. Okay, see we're negative 28 now. we go and it filled up with new quests we have buy a fire extinguisher serve 20 customers level up any employee okay so the fire extinguisher this one took me a while to figure out too 
Um, that's a special. You can upgrade your bars too, like this. This is freaking sweet. I love that. Um, want... Oh, it's 50, so we can't get it yet. It's 50 gold. Okay. So far it's going well. Oh, somebody is leveling up. Okay, carry four drinks. We don't need to worry about the carry. Uh, what I'm worried about is drink pouring. Yes. That was a quest. We are one point away from 100 gold. Oh, kitchen instructions. We did get the kitchen with the research. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have enough money to upgrade the kitchen on this file, but you will see the kitchen on my file. Uh, okay, we've got two there. There. We are now, look at that, 953. That's awesome. So, let us work on getting... We don't need musicians right off the bat, but these two are kind of 50-50. I would like to have another drink, but more guests would be nice, too. Let's go for that right now. Um, what we need is a special... Oh, can't buy that because it's over on this thing. Right there? Yep. Okay. It's 6 p.m. right now. We're doing pretty good. We only got four tables. You can go in, you can change the color of this stuff, too. Uh, right now, we're only working with... Uh, oh, that's a building one. Floor textures, we have this stuff, which you'll add more as you'll upgrade, of course, and unlock stuff. And lower walls, we have, like, if I were to go and do this, it would change a lower wall pattern. Uh, same thing for upper wall. You can change the upper wall pattern as well. This one, though, it actually changes the uh, window as well, so that's cool. So far, it's going pretty well. We got a pretty good start going here. And when we get our report at the end of the day, I want to show you something. Come on, we got two more people. What's this? Oh. We got all four. Nice. Okay, so we made a... That was a huge difference. Huge, colossal difference. Uh, you want to keep track of your angry customers, too. Look at what they say the angry customer left for and adjust accordingly. So if they're staying too long because they're not getting their food, um, maybe you need to work on um, uh, your person. Like, if we go to Shay, you can adjust if you want them to work on drinks like more importantly, that's a high priority. Um, right now, she doesn't need to work on takeout or the hotel. Uh, or I would probably put cleaning to uh, meh, cleaning to medium. Low priority is going to be food. Or actually, right now it's none since we don't have any. So then you can adjust this. Well, maybe down the road, if I get another staffer, then I could uh, use that other waitress and uh, have her do take care of the food and the takeout stuff where she doesn't have to work on the drinks because Shay's working on it, right? So, now that we're done with two days, let's go take a look. We won't save this one because I already have a file that I'm working on. So we'll go to Load and Stardew Pub, which, for anyone out there, I named it after Stardew Valley. Uh, any unsaved progress will be lost, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. All right, so here, big difference. <laughs> here is my uh, my building. This is only the first floor. I have two floors. So the first floor, just to give you a little rundown. All my tables, which I'm gonna be updating along the way because um, if you go into your table outlook, uh, uh, table button here, I wanna eventually upgrade to doing all of these. They have way more, they have 200 prestige, 
compared to the 10 that you get normally from these. So that would jump up tremendously. And those I want to work on. So over time, I will be taking all these out and replacing them. So up front here, I have our bar area with the waitresses. Right now, we are serving a mix of everything with ale, mead, wine, water, uh, beer, cider, milk, and lemonade. We can also get more of anything that we want, depending on which ones are going quickly. Uh, I want to refill all of them just because I don't like them getting below the halfway point. It's just a better way for me to not have to worry about something throughout the day, right? We also have takeout, which you can adjust separately from uh, your other ones. Like, it has the same food as a regular menu, but I'm giving a 10% discount for people coming to here rather than going in because you're not taking up the space, you're not taking up the time. I'm giving you a little bit of a discount on the price. I could actually probably bump this up to 15 or 20, but I might do that later. Got more decorations on the inside. We also have a kitchen. There is a lot going on in the kitchen right now. Uh, we have the soups, the different things for soups. We have the grill. Uh, this is more for decoration, if anything. Um, we have a ton of different uh, food ingredients to go off of. These are ones that you can buy these are ones that you hire adventurers to go out and get for you, which is this table right here. It's the adventurer's table. You can then hire people out when they show up over here. Uh, you can hire them out to go on adventures for you to get whatever this item is right here. You need so many adventurers to go on each one to combat the difficulty score. Right now we have four adventures in progress right now. Another thing that I'm currently learning more on is researchers. Not really sure exactly what their thing entails, but she gains research every day. And the reason I need that is because there are some things now that take research to get. And I'm slowly learning more about that. That's going really slow though, so I'm not really sure how to boost that at this point in time. This is the performer spot. I can take that and buy performers to go there. Uh, they usually have it to where they'll affect the guests and make the guests stay there longer, so they'll order more. And then we go up to floor number two, which is more of a hotel area at this point. My plan was to originally make three or four rooms, have an outdoor eating area, and then have like a little bar or uh, another bar kitchen area over here for people to sit. The problem with that is that this was the second floor, which we now are on for the hotel. Then you get another floor and then an another floor. So there's four floors you're going to get for this place. I figure if you want to do outdoor eating, you're not going to do it in the middle of the building. You're going to do it on the very top of the building. So this is probably all going to go at some point. And I'll probably just fill it in with rooms and another kitchen seating area over here. And then probably the same thing for the next uh, floor as well. So this room is a, is a huge room in progress. But let's go through one day on this bar so you guys can see it in full effect. Right now my prestige is 680, or, uh, uh, 6825 and my money is sitting at 2976. My guess per day is about 410. That can be affected plus or negative depending on the weather. Um, so let's start our day and see how it goes. Let's speed it up just a tad. Oh, it looks like we have some adventures too. So they brought back, okay, that looks like what, nuts, 14. Got some meat. These are still in progress. Looks like everything is filling up. We're starting to fill up nicely. Very cool. Those are full. Those are pretty solid as far as food goes. Yeah, 61. You don't need to worry about those yet. Um, let's go to the table, see what we got here. Okay, so these are what we have so far for ingredients. Um, we could go with more nuts. 
Uh, we don't have any coconuts yet, but that's 864. And the difficulty is really high. So if we click on this, we have to click on the numbers accordingly to offset that difficulty number. So it would pretty much take everybody we have just to put it at about 50%. So that we're not going to do. Uh, we do need some more green beans. That's 100%. 81. 54. You know what? Yeah. We'll do you, and then we'll get some more strawberries. 84. Nice. Okay. Up. Oh. oh. Okay, so though the the elite people are the ones that you get when you uh, do the quest and you get points and they unlock for you, they're completely maxed out. They're awesome. I love these guys. So I like to make sure that they're all around this employee and is happy of 100. I love that. And sometimes that means increasing the salary. Sometimes you have to eat money. Uh, how's that go? Spend money to make money? That's exactly what this is. Um, you need, ooh, for soup, main courses, let's stack out main courses and desserts for now, and then we'll worry about soups from here on out. Looks like everybody else is doing really well. Okay. Not too bad. We're back up to 5397, which isn't horrible. Not, not bad at all. Uh, we'll do one more day. Do we have any angry customers? We did. We only had five. I got it down from 18, then it went to 16, and now I'm only at five. So now I have to address some of the issues. Bartender, this was about ordering ale, beer, mead. Ale, okay, it's all about the drinks taking too long. Okay... Interesting. But everybody has drinks at high priority. This one's only working on takeout. This one... Okay, um... Annabelle, let's maybe switch this up a little bit. Let's go... I think food is pretty much taken care of at this point. Uh... Let's put you on food. Let's try switching this up a little bit. Let's see how we do. Start a new day. Wow, they came in quick. Oh, there was an event going on today, wasn't there? Yes, there was. It was a work anniversary. So as you progress, you can assign events to go on certain days. Um, they'll bring in a certain guest. Like this one brings in a rare guest. Uh, these are the requirements that are needed to hit this event. And this is a reward, 800. 800 gold. Uh, all the guests of this event have been served. You received 800 as a reward. Cool. So let's go to here. We got some completed quests. Okay. We're doing pretty good on everything. The nuts are pretty expensive. Fish ain't too bad. Yeah, go with that. Alright, so, and your meals will level up as well. As they're, they're made better and better and better, the, the quality of them will get higher and higher. So these are only the event foods. We need more events to be able to boost them up. More stars have better results. Right now, my average is 1.9, which gives me an 8% chance for a rare, 4% chance for gold, and a 1% chance for royal. Haven't got any royals coming in yet, unfortunately. Uh, but our regular food is looking pretty top-notch. So I'm happy with that. So that's a work in progress. This place is definitely getting filled up. Second floor. Nobody's staying in yet. That'll probably change at night. It's going pretty good. I like it. This will not get used during events because it's... Obviously, everything's being used for this. Um, everyone's being served. I don't see any 
issues yet that are popping up. Ale. Oh yeah, let's fill up some of our stuff. We got the money for it, why not? There. Okay, everyone's going home, pretty much. <laughs> it's midnight. Oh. Serve 100 rare customers by organizing events. We did. That gets us an extra $800. Or 800 gold. Serve only desserts for the whole day, which we did as well. Ooh, we're getting really close to a new recipe here. Ooh, even better with the money profit. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, total seats. Average occupancy. Serve drinks. Looks like the highest thing on here was taking the food order. So food is doing, food is actually doing better than drinks at this point. Angry. None. Awesome. Uh, looks like the drinks. No lemonade. No wine. Ale, beer, and water. Wow. Interesting. That... I don't think anybody's staying with us tonight either. That was an event. Oh, no, we do. We got three couples. Okay. That's not that bad. I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. So, uh, I still have a ways to go with getting the uh, garden stuff and the games unlocked, which is way further on down the road. And even with this stuff, I still have things that I can't get. I'm still way behind on some things. Uh, specials were just, like I said before, they were um, the bars and uh, the pads for, or the podium for musicians. Uh, you, the stuff you'll unlock too, like, it'll tell you how many of those you can actually put up. Like, one of one, one of one, one of one. And these give you a lot of prestige. So these are really fun to get, and I have them hanging up along the walls. Um, then we have lights. We have decorations, which add a lot, depending on which ones you get. I would like to go through and change up some more of the decorations. They do have some Halloween-based ones, too, which is nice. No Christmas ones, though, right now. Seats I need to work on. Ooh. I can't even see anything about it, but these look fancy. A lot more fancy than these. And these only fit two people. Not much different than these, but they give a ton more. Could you see if I did everything with, like, the luxury look to it? Holy cow. That would be insane. But that is going to do it for Tavern Master. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I highly recommend this game if you're into simulators, if you're into the whole tavern experience, which I love the tavern experience. Um, I love the old school aesthetic of having a nice old school rustic tavern. I just I love that feeling. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you all in the next one and done. Until then, take care and peace out.